Hey, hey, welcome back to another Life by You update video. Today we're going to be checking out the most recent update and what they have to say about gardening. And it's a short little seven minute video, so let's hop into it. As you can see here, here's the tweet. I will have the tweet and the video linked in the description below as well. And before we hop into that, make sure you are subscribed. If you want to see more Life by You content, I will be definitely following this game and other life simulation games that are coming out in the next year or two. So if you're into that, then uh, join us. All right. Welcome, everybody, back to another gameplay reveal for Life oh, by You. he's very loud. My name is Willem Delventhal. You may remember me from the crafting video a month or two back. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This yeah, time, yeah. I'm here to tell you about gardening, which shares some gardening. similarities to crafting, but in many ways is its own unique system. Now, I'm a game designer, and as I said before, game designers are largely here to try to find the fun in the game. They're creating content and systems to try to make an enjoyable, engaging experience for all of you, the players. And gardening has good, actually good, been good. in life by you for quite some time, but has needed some significant updates. So I yeah. was tasked with trying to get gardening ready for our early access release. Make now, before I say anything else, remember that all of this may change. Game development is all about iteration and making things incrementally better over time. So yeah. some of this may be different from the final release. So my four objectives We're for gardening We're continuing to work on our character models and animations as well as the lighting in the world. Simple. All right. Number two, I wanted it to tie yeah, the shadows into other existing funky. systems in the game. Number three, I wanted to make sure that your character can create enough money for themselves to sustain themselves just by gardening. And yeah. number four, I wanted to scale in a satisfying way so that your character gets better at gardening over time. That is good. Now, just like before, I, like I did this work with the help of many other people on the team, including some of the engineers that you may yeah, know. Yeah, the animations love, like could be a little. Head, and some of the artists as well, like Naka. Because it's like, all right, off let's jump into gardening doing. and see what's in store for everyone. But they did say they're improving. So, for the that, sake of so. this video, I decided to split things up into the six main mechanics of gardening in Life by You the hmm. three more simple ones and the three more advanced ones. Okay. These simple mechanics of gardening Tell include me more. planting, watering, and harvesting. And the more advanced features include fertilizing, weeding, and sprinklers. Oh, so let's go sprinklers! Ahead and start with we get planting. sprinklers? Players can acquire oh, seeds from two main locations in Life by You. They can purchase them from just the like any other food item online or at a grocery store. Or they can actually craft seeds at a gardening table from existing using produce. ingredients. Oh, so you can cool. take that lettuce that you grew and turn it into more lettuce seeds to perpetuate your seed population. Yay. Players okay, can that's then good. place that's garden good. plots from the build menu on their own properties, and they can then plant any seed type in any garden plot. In the garden plot. Some okay. seed types that you'll be able to play with include beans, peas, lettuce, onions, and cabbage. Nice. Now let's talk watering. After planting, All every the plant in Life by You needs to be watered once I like the a day. watering This should look be familiar them. to players of other similar gardening games. I like the look after nice they're simple. watered. You just got to water everything once a day. Every plant progresses okay. through four main stages. Seed, seedling, juvenile, and adult. And every okay. stage takes a predefined number of days to progress that varies dependent on the seed. So Makes some sense. more difficult Makes plants sense. may take more days to go from seedling to juvenile than more simple plants. Okay. You'll also notice that other characters will actually help you care for your plants. They may even <gasps> yes! walk around and water some for you. Yes. Once your plants have reached maturity, they can be harvested for produce. Work for me! <laughs> plants vary their harvest yield depending on the type of plant and your skill as a gardener. So a gardener that has more experience will actually get more produce out of each garden plot than one who's just getting started. Nice. There are two types of harvestable plants in Life by You, single harvest and multi-harvest. Your multi-harvestable plants can be rewatered and will actually grow more produce we'll grow more. after yeah. watering. Yeah, okay. That this makes sense. That makes sense. Like a tomato like or a bean. Single harvest plants are a little bit more basic, and once they are harvested, the garden plot will then be empty and yeah. can be used again for a different plant. That makes now, sense. Now, those are the three more basic mechanics of gardening in Life by You. You plant your plant. You water it over a couple of days, and then you harvest it for use in cooking or just for sale. But mm -hmm. we also have the three more advanced features, the first of which being fertilizing. Various fertilizers yeah, can yeah. be purchased or actually crafted out of seashells in Life Seashells, you. ah. You can fertilize any plot, and yeah, it will yeah. remain fertilized until that plant is fully harvested. That's amazing. Fertilized plants increase the yield of the plot, meaning a plot that is fertilized will actually give you more produce when you harvest it. Next, we have weeding. 
Depending on the plant's difficulty to grow, some plants can occasionally spawn weeds. These are easily removed, but delay plant growth while they are present. So oh, if no. you leave a weed for too long, your plant won't grow, and oh. it will delay your harvest time. Okay. Plants can also sure wither, you weed your especially plant. if you forget to Good water to them, and must be cleared and replanted if they wither completely. They will go bad. And okay. our last mechanic, and probably my favorite, is sprinklers. Mm. In order to give players a late That's game new. scaling option I like for that. gardening, we That's decided great. to add simple automatic sprinklers to the game. Let's These switch to Terrence who has a higher gardening skill. Via crafting. Okay. Once you reach a certain gardening level, and then you can craft make them at a gardening table. Uh, Placing a sprinkler amazing. on a garden plot automatically waters that oh. plot forever. Oh. So while they are a so little you... expensive to craft, you can slowly make an entire garden that waters itself. Just self-watered. Become a true elite That's farmer. amazing. And there you have it. The six main mechanics of gardening. We're continuing to improve character portraits, including now, squashing a few bugs. Don't worry, Leo. It's fine. Look at that face. any playthrough of Life by You. <laughs> To allow you to live out your gardening That's fantasies. Great. Maybe your character prefers like fresh veggies in their salads and they grow some lettuce outside for just such occasions. Yeah. But we also want you to be able to play out a true farming fantasy and fully financially support your character from just fresh fruit and veg. So we can sell that. In stuff. addition, we're hoping Do that like this a farmer's acts market as inspiration for the types of mods you'll be able to add to the game. Hmm. Imagine you can add all kinds of new plants that you can grow as well as your friends can grow. Hmm. Or you can add new types of gardening craftables like the sprinklers and so much more. If you take yeah, nothing yeah, else yeah, away yeah. from this video, we hope that you feel that gardening is primarily Can't a new cam is not a feature for you and your Wait. character. <laughs> oh, <in life> <laughs> a corner. A relaxing way for your character <laughs> to get a little bit more connected to the natural world. That's fine. All right. Now, before we go, I want to make it a rule that every time I do one of these videos, I ask all of you for feedback because I had so much fun reading all of the feedback in the last crafting video. So I have three questions for all of you here today. Oh boy. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm ready. First question. Are there other things you'd like to see as gardening craftables? So right now there's three main things you can make. Mm -hmm. You can turn produce into seeds. You can make the gardening table and you can make sprinklers. Okay. Is there anything else you might like to see? Number two. Hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to be able to do with produce? Right now there's two things sell you it. can do with the produce. You can sell At it a table. or you can cook with it. And number three, do you have any other feedback on gardening? I want to be able to set up a table. All right. Like the home chef hustle, but time let us have that in base game. And mm -hmm. I'm excited to have all of you try it. And I'm excited to see all of the weird mods you add to it. Yeah. I hope you've had a wonderful time yourself. And I hope you consider picking up Life by You in early access coming soon. Bye now. All right. And that's the video. So let's talk about what we saw there. I think that they do need some way to sell them that isn't just sell from your inventory. We need like a physical way to go and sell your stuff to be able to like have a farmer's market pop-up event happen in the world and you're able to bring a table with you and like sell stuff at that farmer's market. I think that would be great because like farmer's markets are so common and they're the best place to get the best produce and veggies. So I don't know. I really hope they would add something like that. That would give us a little more um, gameplay options with growing your own stuff and trying to make money from it. He did touch on like mods, like how you can mod it to make your own or make more variety of stuff. And I'm curious to see what modders will do with that. And I do love the sprinkler thing. I think that's great. And I'm surprised that no other life sim game, like we haven't had sprinklers. <laughs> necessarily in uh, other life sims so I think this is wonderful to make it a little bit easier once you get past the initial like starting stages of doing this and the repetitiveness which can come with that I think the watering process being automated is very important because it's something like in real life you usually have sprinklers you're not usually watering every single vegetable and fruit it depends where you live and how you, how you do it but usually you end up setting some kind of a sprinkler system just to make your life a little bit easier and so they're more consistently watered so yeah that being said i think that's a great video and i did like william's energy and i like the way that he is confident in the way that he speaks about the system and the game and i'd love to see more from him for more gameplay stuff so let me know what you like about gardening, what you'd like to see more from gardening, and any other uh, feedback you have for this game. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. I'd love to chat about it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys next week. All right.